We need to use Spotsovich and Yamu to find the wizard who's controlling them. A wizard? Yes, when the human race was still in its fan infancy on Earth, a powerful wizard named Bibbidi appeared. With him, he brought a terrible monster, whose only purpose was destruction. The monster's name was Majin Buu. This monster's only desire was to eliminate all living things. Hundreds of planets were reduced to rubble by him. Entire galaxies were ripe from existence. That sounds awful. What happened to him? After a while, Majin Buu became so powerful that even Bibbidi could not control him. Bibbidi used a spell to seal Majin Buu inside a ball, where he lay dormant. Bibbidi used a spell to transport Buu from planet to planet, until the ball was brought here to Earth. The Earth was meant to be Buu's next target. Now that's terrible. But before Buu could be released, Bibbidi was killed and the ball containing Buu has remained here on Earth to this very day. I don't get it. Why would someone want... Why can someone destroy Buu while he is inside the ball? That's a good question. As long as Bibbidi could never do the spell to release Boo from the ball, Boo is no longer a threat. However, Bibbidi had a son. His name is Bobbidi. Bobbidi is on Earth right now as we speak. He intends to continue his father's work and unleash Majin Boo upon the universe once again. I see. So what do Spotsovich and Yamu have to do with all this? Bobbidi is not physically strong, but as a weird he doesn't need to be. Instead, his magic enables him to harness the evil that exists in the hearts of people like Yamu and Spotsovich, and thereby control their actions. In order to resurrect Majin Buu, Bobbidi requires a tremendous amount of pure energy. So they came after me. That's right. The Supreme Kai, the one you know as Mr. Shin, was the one who defeated Bibbidi so many ages ago. We have come here to Earth to stop him. I see your father and the others up ahead. Let's catch up to him. Anyway, hey guys, it's hey, Nerf Derp, but welcome to more Dragon Ball Z Buu's Fiare. We are continuing on with the story here. Hey, Dad. Go on. I suppose Kabito has filled you in? Yep. Sounds like we have our work cut out for us. I see spots with the Tinyami land over there. Everyone should try to suppress your energy. We don't want them to know we're here yet. Wow. That's a lot of dialogue. But it's important to the story, so it's important that I read it. Anyway, here we are starting Chapter 4, Babidi. I love that drum thing. Well, here we are in the southwest forest. Spots from Yamu land somewhere around here. This is very strange. We searched this area before and found nothing. Bobby's spaceship must be hidden around there somewhere. Yeah, you should split it up. That way we cover more ground. So, now we need to find um, his spaceship. And we have access to Goku and Vegeta. So, let's save our game. And let's kind of just look around here. And see what we need to do. Looks like we can go up this way. Uh, what's up here? Level 70 Goku? But he's only 66, dude. Okay, um... I suppose I'll go ahead and train him a few levels, so... I guess I'll be back in a moment. And we are back. I just got to level 70. So, yeah. And uh, all the stat points I got from that I just put up to my strength, and I only can do 300 damage with one punch. It's pretty freaking awesome. Okay, remember way back at the tournament where we ate that Sensu Bean? And that glitch I talked about? Well, if you eat it, you will um, actually have 255 of them. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it, it works that way. It's pretty amazing. So now we um have lots of sensu beans. Let's just say that. So anyway, uh, let's head on up here. And boom. Now we have some monsters here. They give some pretty good experience. So we can do some grinding here. I think he's need Goku to break it down, but I want to. I want to see if I can go there with uh, Gohan, so I need to do some training with him. I'm not sure if he'll let me though, but I'll try. Okay, cool. I need Gohan to get experience because um, I think you need him at like. 80 or something to get to the ship 
So, I need to take care of that, like, right now. So, uh, I'll equip these. Yeah, let's equip everything. Okay, let's Q. Die. Okay, 68. We'll just walk around and figure out where we need to go. And once I get there, if I'm not high enough, then I'll um, I'll just cut till I get. Yeah, but it shouldn't take that long though at this rate. Okay, where do we need to go? Let's try this way. I'm next exploring all over. I honestly don't remember where to go. But yeah, we'll figure it out. We're at 70 already, so shouldn't be too bad. Uh, Vegeta's at like 75 already, so he's way up there. 71. More attack. Almost 400 damage. <laughs> Over 400. That's awesome. Okay, what's this? The Talisman of Light. What does that do? This talisman increases the amount of energy recharged when you use melee attack. That's cool, but we need to be 95 for that. So once we are, we'll equip that. Anything else here? No. So we'll go right. Seventy-three. Awesome. I might cut and grind with everyone else just because I, I don't have to keep cutting the grind. I just want to kind of do it all at once. You know what I'm saying? So, punch you in the face. God, we can level up like crazy. We're 74 already. Like, dude. But, eh. Um, the first time, or first few times I actually played this game, um, I did increase my strength and made it more even, but I decided to go with sh the strength throughout this run, just because I think it'll be more fun. <laughs> just to see how much damage we can do. Okay, I need to go up over here. No. Up over here, go on. Alright, we're just looking around, doing our own thing. Okay, 75. Awesome. Is it go level 2? Oh, I never even showed that. I'll show you in a sec. Um, you hold B, and when that pointer go, that's where it go. It does a decent amount, but I never really use it. Okay, going's like a fucking beast now. <laughs> that's pretty hilarious. Now I can do like 600. Where do I go now? Let's go left. Dude, not cool, bro. 76, and cool. And even though um, our like endurance and stuff isn't that high, we're still not taking that much damage. Which I guess is what I'm going for. Okay. Keep on going. 77. Dude. Okay. I'm just fighting everything. It's because I'm almost there. Okay. 78. Almost there. Whoa. Big thing. If you stay on its uh, left side where that uh, flamethrower is, then you won't be hit by it. Wait, what's that thing? 79... I wanna see what that thing is. Demon Mass. Ooh, I want that. Equip to Gohan. Now we have more strength. It can do like 800. That is epic. 
I don't really use uh, energy attacks anyway, and it gives me more endurance anyway, so it's really cool. Okay, uh, let's see here. I need to hurry and get to 80, so I'm going to go back and do that real quick, just because something's up there. Okay, 80. There we go. 15 stat points. Okay. Uh, I'm totally... I can't increase my strength anymore? That's pretty hilarious. Alright, it'll give me more endurance. Alright, that's even. Oh, it's 87. Okay, I see. <laughs> Almost a thousand damage. That is awesome. Okay, we're good now. So, let's go over here. Dude, not cool, bro. And let's go over here. Hey, come look at this. Looks like the ground here has been recently, or er, disturbed recently. Looks like it's dug up or something. And there's spots to the Chinyamu. Of course, it's so obvious now. That's why we couldn't find a spaceship. He buried the whole thing underground. Look, someone's coming out of the ship. Whoa, he's big. Debor, that cursed wizard managed to ensnare the king of demons. Which one is Debora? The tall one. He's the king of the demon world. It's a shadow world on the other side of this one. Like two sides of the same coin. You may be the strongest in this world, but in his dark world of demons, the bird is the strongest by far. Now, the little guy is Bobbity? Yes, he is. Don't underestimate him because of his size. He's the most dangerous of them all. His magic is able to keep being like the bird under his control. So just imagine that kind of horror who can flip upon the world. If he's so strong, what's keeping us from falling under his spell? He seeks out the evil desires in a person's heart. Once he discovers them, he manipulates them and enhances them, and openly controls them. That's how the burrow was captured. Unless by a pure of heart like us have a fighting chance against him. Life for most of us, but what about Piccolo? He hasn't always been the, one of the good guys, you know. What about Vegeta? <laughs> so boys, what have you brought me? It's the energy you asked for, Master. It's stored inside. You've done well. We are now one step close to achieving our goal. It's a shame that your business with me is finished, because I'm afraid I have no more use for you. Whoa, he just killed his own person. Dude. Too bad. I really like them. Marvel, isn't it? Before he perished, did you see a look of fear in his eyes? It pleased me no ends to see how easily humans are frightened. And those were only two of them. There are millions of torment. Torment. And there's someone else, too. Yes, Master? It appears we have some company. Spontovich and Yami were followed. Indeed, the fools believe they are well hidden. There are seven of them in all. One of them is the Supreme Kai, and three of them possess a normal level we can use. It will go a long way towards reviving Majin Buu. More than that, in these three alone, we'll find more energy enough to, to suit our purposes. How marvelous! Bobby is going back inside, but Debra is staying behind. Oh no. He knows we're here. Now let's begin. Dude. What the hell just happened? <laughs> oh no. I should have warned him. It's one of the special power. Anything he spits on turns to stone. But don't worry. If we can defeat the bird, it'll turn back to normal. I'll leave you one chance to run. Take it. Unless you end up looking friends. What are we waiting for after him? No, they're counting on the fact that you'll charge into the ship to stop them. It's safe for all of us if we wait out here. Sorry, we can't just do that. Doing this thing, it's a trap. It's a trap! Patience has never been our strongest virtue. We have to defeat the Burra and turn our friends back to normal. So we need to enter his ship in order to... Uh, what's it called? Save our friends. Yeah, that one. So we're gonna save our game, but first you want to switch to uh, Goku because there's something down there that you only can get with Goku. I just want to show it real quick, just while I'm there. 
but let's fly the ship. And 85? Really? Really? <laughs> I'll do that off screen. You want to use instant transmission and teleport to the chest and to Z Fighter exhibit. I'm just showing it for convenience sake. I'm not doing 100% or any of that crap. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the part here. So next time on Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury, we're going to go inside Bobby D's ship and see what's inside. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, Herb Dirt.